that though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, for we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. Though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but though I be rude in speech, you rude in speech, you rude in speech, you rude in speech, you rude in speech. Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. Call Halo Yam, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Yashar Allah, for the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, sincere Akim out there spreading this truth throughout the four corners of the globe in righteousness and sincerity. Most how willing this video be edifying. Real fast, I just want to go. Uh, I'm going to start at the description and I'm going to go back up. All right. This is in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 13, verse 21. Then I testified against them and said unto them, Why lodge ye about the wall? If ye do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that forth came they no more on the Sabbath. So this is Nehemiah speaking. And who he was talking to was those uh, merchants and sellers from mainly from Tyree that were lodged out out of Jerusalem man so right there he said I'll lay hands on you understanding that's something rude in speech because if someone were to tell you that I'll put their hands on you that will certainly spark up some kind of controversy and have someone in a, in a state of defense all right but it's but as you can see it says from that time forth came they no more on the Sabbath because they knew Nehemiah wasn't playing so we're going to go up a little bit to get that, that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of why was Nehemiah had to be, you know, rude to him, why was it necessary. I'm going to start at um, 15. It says, In those days saw I in Judah some treading wine presses on the Sabbath, on the Sabbath and bringing in sheaves and ladding asses, also as also wine, grapes, and figs, and all manner of burdens which they brought in Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I testified against them in the day wherein they sold victuals. All right. So understanding that the people of Judah were profaning the Sabbath, man. They were working on the Sabbath, which in these times we were under the law, right? We were under the law and they were breaking the law. So verse 16 says, There dwelt men of Tyre, also their wren, which brought fish, because they off the coast. You know what I'm saying? So they, they brought fish. And it says, uh, in all manner of ware and sold on the Sabbath unto the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. All right. So it says, then I contended with the nobles of Judah. So he even spoke to them then. He contended with them. Let them know what, what they were doing. Like, yo, what are y'all doing? It says, then I contended with the nobles of Judah and said unto them, what evil thing is this that ye do and profane the Sabbath day. So he basically say, yo, what are y'all doing, man? Profaning the, the, the Shabbat. What is y'all doing, man? It said, did not your fathers thus and did not our God bring all this evil upon us and upon this city? Yeah, ye bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath. So it says, and it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the gates should be shut and charge them that and charge them select and charge that they should not be open till after the Sabbath. And some of my servants set I at the gates that there should no burden be brought in on the day on the Sabbath day. So the merchants and sellers of all kinds of where lodged without Jerusalem once or twice. So Nehemiah, he, 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 he charged that the gate should be closed until the, um, until the Sabbath was over, man. And he saw that there were merchants outside over there just lodged out on the other side of the wall waiting for the, for the gates to be opened again. So Nehemiah, that's what Nehemiah tells him, yo. He said, then I testified against them, all right? So 
And the scripture said, I testified against them. He went out and bear, bear witness and spoke to them, man. He said, and said unto them, why lodge ye about the wall? As ye do so again, I will lay hands on you. So he told them, look, man, y'all out here again? I'm going to put my hands on you, man. Straight like that. So that it was, it was, it was a wisdom and knowledge behind that, understanding behind why he was rude and had to let them know, and also told the people of Judah and let them know what it was, man. What would you rather ha ha have happen? Nehemiah check you, contend with you, uh, and, and and tell the other people that hey, y'all gonna put hands on you, or you want the the, the, the holy one of Israel come and bring evil upon, you know, uh, the people, you know, Israel, Yasha Allah, once again. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a reason why uh, the prophets always use, you know, they were some of the uh, prophets were rude in speech. You know, it was a reason for that, man. As as today, we out here telling you that America's gonna be destroyed. And look, people playing around like it's like it's a joke, man. But that being said, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Yahshua Allah. <clears throat> With apostle and elder great millstone and salutation to you sincere i came out there spreading this truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe to the house of david to the 144,000, to the women and children consisted of one-third shalom